And now to the finance bill and 56 out of 66 interest groups that have so far issued their submissions to the National Assembly Finance Committee have rejected the finance bill 2023 with only 10 supporting. The Petroleum Outlets Association, Marketing Society of Kenya, International Chamber of Kenya, and the Kenya Airline Pilots Association are among entities which shared their views on the bill on day five of the public participation hearings. Seth Olale followed the proceedings. The number of entities opposing the Finance Bill 2023 continues to grow as the public participation hearings on the bill enters its penultimate stage. The Marketing Society of Kenya, Petroleum Outlets Association and Kenya Airlines Pilots Association, the latest to object to the Finance Bill, citing taxation anomalies. There are so many legal obligations that we have to honor. The Marketing Society of Kenya says it's discriminatory to be slapped with a withholding tax rate of 15% on digital content creation, while other professional fees are at 5%. See, looking at the mental health of these youth, and some of these uh, good stories are the ones that have actually sustained, and we've seen also suicidal rates that have gone up on the youth who are just feeling depressed. They've gone to school and they have no work, and we have created work for them. So, of course, we hope that you can be able to help us move our negative 40% on the decline of the industry, and as it grows, we grow together. The alcoholic beverages sector is a key contributor to the total advertising sector, total marketing business, and adding an additional 15% is going to have some adverse effects. And I'm using Nairobi County Council as an example. We pay 30 shillings per leaflet or poster for it to be given to you in traffic, for it to be given to you at home, or for it to be put up on the shop. That, that poster to produce it is around seven shillings. So we're already paying almost four times uh, for us to sell our brands in this market. So in this finance bill, we have identified a clause that has created an uncompetitive and discriminatory marketplace that will chase away investors into fintech, which, by the way, was a top source of FDI into the country as over $70 million was invested into the sector last year. The Kenya Airlines Pilots Association argued that Kenya is a free market capitalist economy and therefore the state cannot force members to join the National Housing Development Plan and pay a mandatory contribution towards it. Every pilot in Kenya, or almost every pilot, is certainly in that bracket. So if you're earning more than half a million shillings and we ask you to contribute 2,500 in a month, to go towards a fund that will create houses so that poor Kenyans who do not have your kind of salary, who don't stay in your kind of estates, get to have a decent place to live. A lot of Kenyans right now are jobless. I have relatives who are graduates from acknowledged institutions, graduates such as yourselves. Someone may have a home but not be able to feed themselves or even maintain that home. So far, 66 entities have physically made submissions before the National Assembly Finance Committee with 56 opposing the bill while 10 support it. A total of 1,300 memoranda received by the Parliamentary Watchdog, which concludes public participation hearings on Saturday before retreating to submit a report. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.